What's going on everyone? We have a pretty important filing to talk about out of FINRA. This one is SR FINRA 2022-005. And I have, I have touched on this before, but I'm going to go over it again um, because it is important what they're doing here with this one. And this is the market-wide circuit breakers in NMS stocks that we're going to be referring to here. And basically, um, this was filed on the 16th of March by FINRA, or the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority Incorporated. And this is a notice of filing and immediate effectiveness of a proposed rule change to extend the pilot period related to FINRA Rule 6121.02, which is the market-wide circuit breakers and NMS stocks rule. Now, there's two things to keep in mind here. Number one is the fact this is immediately effective. And number two is the date at which they're extending this pilot period to, which if you're in the group, for, uh, the basic purpose of this filing is to basically just extend the pilot related to the market-wide circuit breaker in Rule 6121.02 to the end of business day of April 18th, 2022. Now, why this is important for the group is because, again, this is our next cycle expiry date. It's the week following that. So keep this in mind. Our next cycle ends on the 14th. So that would be that following Tuesday. So just keep that in mind. Now, as far as the background on this, the market-wide circuit breaker, or MWCB, including FINRA Rule 6121.02, which we're discussing in this video, provide an important and automatic mechanism that is invoked to promote stability and investor confidence during periods of significant stress, when cash equity securities experience extreme market-wide declines. I thought that's what a caller option position was for. Anyways, the MWCB rules are designed to slow the effects of extreme price declines through coordinated trading halts across both cash equity and equity option securities markets. The cash equities rules governing MWCBs were first adopted in 1988, and this is very notable, in 2012 is when FINRA and all U.S. cash equity exchanges amended their cash equities uniform rules on a pilot basis. And what, by what coincidence... Are they going to be basically taking this away as soon as China gets their government and their economy ready to go for their goods and services type economy? There's no way that's coincidence. So anyways, the pilot rules currently provide for trading halts in all cash equity securities during a severe market decline as measured by a single day decline in the S&P 500 index. So it's solely going to rely on the S&P 500. And under the pilot rules, a market-wide trading halt will be triggered if SPX declines in price by a specific price percentage from the prior day's closing price of that index. So for example, if the SPY closes at 7% or below, or if it declines 7%, if it, if it breaks this threshold, the triggers are set at three different circuit breakers, the first one being that 7%, which is level 1. 13% is the level 2 threshold that it will trigger a halt. And level 3 is a 20% decline. We're talking about the SPY here, so keep this in mind. Now, a market decline that triggers a level 1 or level 2 halt after 9.30 a.m. and before 3.25 p.m., um, assuming this is Eastern time, would halt market-wide trading for 15 minutes, while a similar market decline at or after 3.25 p.m., would not halt market-wide trading. Level 1 and Level 2 halts may occur only once per day. So your 7% halt and your 13% halt can only occur once per day. Now, a market decline that triggers a Level 3, or if we, if we see a 20% SPY decline at any time during the trading day, that would halt market-wide trading for the remainder of the trading day. So they wouldn't have written this in the rules had they not considered this possibility happening. Keep that in mind. Now, basically, in essence, FINRA now proposes to amend Rule 6121.02 to extend the pilot, which basically protects from large losses or helps minimize those losses if the SPY were to shit itself, basically. And they're going to extend this date till April 18th, 2022. So do with that information what you will, but that's what's written down. That is what they have extended what, the, the pilot that they created in 2012. Man, it's a simulation. Y'all have a good one.